faith I received my sight we, we read the stories and all the, the, the parables and stuff in the Bible where, where Jesus healed the blind and how people received their sight and how amazing that might have been but you know what as a child of, of Christ we received our sight Amen. I believe it's out of the out of the darkness we received yeah. the, the sight to be able to see what God was God was doing in our lives so. <clears throat> no one's ever cared for me that way Jesus. 
sing for a minute. We're following him. <clears throat> you look in your bulletin. You might say that I spent a little bit of time in Psalms this week. <laughs> Looks like you got a lot to say there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we and we do, we have a lot to say. And, and you know, one of the things that, that we have that we do on a daily basis without without even really consciously thinking about it is we wake up in the morning, we start a new day, and we have a set of priorities that are already in place. As soon as we as soon as we wake up in the morning, we begin to place things in priority as how our day is gonna go. I mean, Des and I wake up in the morning, well, what are we gonna do today? How's this going to play out today? What's going to be the first thing we're going to do? What What is our goals to accomplish today? And we, and we begin to work on that set of priorities and putting things in place because we know that if we put first things first, things work out a whole lot better. We know that from experience. We finished our Wednesday night Bible study that we had with uh, John Orberg about it. No, before that, the one before that, um, with uh, Stanley. Andy Stanley. Andy Stanley. Stretching about there's a there's a way things work. Yeah. And we gotta put first things first. We gotta put things in order in order for things to work the way they're supposed to work. We gotta put the first things first and the last things last. And we know that and we, we realize that and that's why we get up and we begin to prioritize our day and put things in order. Uh, if you're gonna saddle a horse, if you're gonna ride a horse and you get out there and you just grab your horse and you throw the saddle on and buckle down and climb on without putting the bridle on first. It could be a very interesting ride. <laughs> you're not going to know which way you're going, and you're not going to have any way to change or even think about which way you're going. It's going to be, I'm hanging on and I'm just going. But, you know, we, we know we've got to put things first. And, and, you know, praising God is the best thing you can do the first thing in the morning. Giving Him the praise and the honor and, the, and, 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 and all that He deserves the very first thing is the best thing to do to put that on the top of your priority list first thing in the morning. We, we read about... All through the scripture, all the different times that, that the people, when they came to a place, they realized that they really needed to praise the Lord. They really needed to, when, they, when we get, and we still do that, but we, we wait until something happens. You know, I, I was thinking about this election, about all the time, that, and I'm so, I'm so great that it is so amazing that with uh, Franklin Graham being involved and, and the Trinity Broadcast Network and the people that are there and come, just compiling all they can, trying to get everybody praying that they can get. They're trying to stir anybody that's got the own slightest unction to pray, to pray. Amen. Before the election. <laughs> Instead of waiting down, because, oh, what did we do? I feel like many, many times in our life, that's when we begin to pray is when we realize we've made a boo-boo and we're like, oh, I better start praying something's wrong. Instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to begin to pray and I'm going to pray and I'm going to pray. And you know, when we do that, if we start out praying, then when the election time comes and it's all over, we know that we ask God to do what God was going to do. And so however it turns out, it gives us a peace of comfort with insight saying, you know what, I don't know what God's doing, but I know I prayed to him and I know I can trust him. So however it turns out, it's okay. He's going to have his will. He's going to do, I prayed that he would have his will, and I would pray that he would do what he did. And I know he hears my prayers, and so however this turns out, it's what he's going to do with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to rejoice in the fact that he is in control, and he is going to take care of it. Yeah. I don't have to sit out here and fear, oh, no, they're going to do this. and they're going to, who, I'm still wondering, one of these days, somebody's going to explain to me who they are. Because they do a lot of things that we're afraid of, and we don't know who they are. they just out there doing it. So... Uh, our priorities should be, you know what, I'm going to wake up in the morning and I'm going to begin. Christian, and you look up the word praise, there's a, there's a, there's a, a little paragraph below that, or you can go into the encyclopedia. But, but Christian praise is the joyful thanking and adoring of God, the celebration of His goodness and grace. Amen. The celebration. It's a, it's a daily thing. Every day we wake up and say, Lord, how amazing you are. How amazing it is that you got me through another day. Because getting through one day in this world that we're in is a pretty amazing feat all by itself. And he gets millions of us through it every day. How amazing is that that he continues to look out and to, and to lead us and to guide us in, 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 the, in some of the worst situations that we can be in. And he'll walk us right through it. And then that's when we decide, oh, I better praise God and thank God. I should have praised Him ahead of time because He's going to take me through it. And as I, as I begin to learn to prioritize and put this praise in the Lord the first thing in my day, my day gets easier. Yeah. Everything begins to work a lot better when I do things the way things work, when I put first things first. <laughs> so many times, 
when something will happen. Well, we, we better pray about it. No, we, we should have already prayed about it. Yeah. We should have already prayed about it. We should have already been in that, in that frame of mind. You know, sometimes we've all, we've all been in situations in our life where something un unexpected happens. Maybe we are getting up and we're praising the Lord every day and everything's going wrong, rough and wrong, pretty good. And you wake up in the morning and you do your devotional and you give the Lord some praise and you're all excited and you get to work and they hand you a pink slip and say, okay, you can go home now, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> sometimes we hope that'll happen. <laughs> that happened to me back in March of what, 2012, I guess? Got to work. I thought everything was fine. We just finished a big project. Everything was done. I thought, hey, we're doing great. We're gonna, we just got everything put away and the whole job cleaned up and all the equipment put away back where it goes and came in on Friday and they walked out in the shop and said, here's your paycheck. We don't need you anymore. I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And I got pretty upset because I just got a big pat on the back and told I was going to get a raise for the good job I just did and then got fired the next Friday. So I went to the owners and I went and I told them, I said, I don't know what's going on or what you're doing, but this is crazy. But it didn't change anything. <laughs> I had to realize, you know what? I get up in the morning and I pray to the Lord and I ask him to take care of me and, pro and provide for me and lead me in the way he wants me to go. Amen. Well, all he's doing is turning me. Yeah. He doesn't want me to go that way anymore. He doesn't want that to be part of my life anymore because for whatever reason, it might lead me astray. So he's going to take me somewhere else. Amen. And begin to be thankful as they oh Lord, thank you for for doing what you do. Yeah. Thank you for putting me in the place where you put me. Because it's not man that has control of things. Yeah. It's God that has control. And if I'll pray, if I'll get up in the morning in that frame of mind and put first things first and put him in the place he deserves to be put and, and learn to lean on his guide, his lead and his guide, those kind of things don't affect me. Because I know he'll provide. He teaches me, if I'll trust Him, yeah. if I will trust Him, He will provide. Yeah. So whatever happens, I can say, you know what? Instead of being upset, I should have went up to the guy that owned the place and said, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate you supporting this guy that just fired me because it's going to take me in a new direction. It's going to take me someplace where I didn't know I could go. So thank you. Now how amazing would that be when the boss wife said, we don't need you anymore, here's your check. Well, thanks. Wow, I appreciate that a lot. Do you, do you want this back? Because I have somebody that provides for me, I don't really need this. If y'all you you got it so bad, you need this back, you have it back. How amazing is that? And when they see that kind of confidence, when people see that kind of that, that assurance in my Savior. We went and saw that movie last night, it came out Friday, Hacksaw Reach. True story. Unbelievable what that man went through. Unbelievable. If you if you haven't seen it and you may not have because like I said it just came out Friday, go and see it. It is it is completely unfathomable what, what this man's life story and it's a true story. They they inter they interview the true man at the end of the story. It really happened. And to think to see how he trusted God. When he was at the very end of his physical limits, he told God, Let me do it again. <laughs> Let me do it again. Let me do it again. So go and I, 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 I invite you to go and see it. It's really, it really drives home what God can really do. And this again, it's a true story. They interview the guy at the end of the movie, and he died in 2006. Um, but go and see it to see the trust and what trust and faith can 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 put together, and what God can do in someone who's willing, regardless of the situation that you're in. Trusting Him and, and, and doing what He called you to do. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. And that's what, that's what we, we need to recognize. Well, I just want to share something, but I know you have to go see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, there's, there's some very good reasons, some very, very good reasons why we should see, why we should praise God. First thing, put first things first, get done. Let's go, let's start now. I want to start out in 2 Samuel 22. 2 Samuel 22 and 4. I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. 
So when I praise the Lord, when I get down on my knees and I, I just praise the Lord, or if I just lift my hands, or if I just sing out loud, or if I just praise the Lord, I will be saved from things. It's, it's written in, in, in Second Samuel realized that. Samuel realized, if I'll just get the first things first and do the most important things first, I'll be saved. Now I won't have to worry about the things that are out there. I won't have to, I won't have to worry about the situation that I'm in. I can do it different than everybody else. I don't have to do it just like everybody else. I do the way he calls me to go. And do the things he calls me to do. Go to Psalms now, 96. You know, uh, praising the Lord, worshiping the Lord is something that just, uh, as, we, as we learn and as we study and as we grow and learn the importance of it and learn what, what we can what we can acquire, what, what, it, what the blessing, the, when we praise the Lord, the blessing is all ours. When we take our time and we devote it to, the God, to God, He blesses us. He blesses us abundantly in return for giving Him the, the, the praise and the glory that He deserves. Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. <clears throat> Going into Psalms 145. One forty five and verse three. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. His greatness is unsearchable. Even even if I get all the what was they had a they had two guys on the news this morning arguing back and forth about the prop tool. <coughs> what's good? What's one guy is for it, one guy's against it. And they had both done a whole bunch of homework. They both had, one guy had a whole, a whole big three ring binder of pages with, with all kinds of sticky notes and all, he was ready for anything. The other guy, he had, he had his knowledge up here. He knew what, he knew why he was defending, what he, was, he knew why he was against it. He knew the whole purpose and he knew the whole plan behind it. He'd done a whole lot of homework. But the scripture says that having that kind of knowledge of God is unsearchable. You can't even find it, just praise him. Yeah, man. It's not about why, it's not about what, it's about I'm just going to praise him because he deserves to be praised. Yeah. I don't need a reason, I don't need to have something happen, I don't need a miracle so that I can praise God. I'll praise him first and the miracle will come afterwards. If I'll just take the time to say, you know what, there's a whole lot of things happening, there's a whole lot of things going on, but I'm just going to praise him. I'm going to thank him. And that his, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm anxious to, anxious to see they're anticipating based on the early voters and all that and all the, I mean, that, that's been, everything's been nothing but a headache, but, but um, based on all, they're, they're really anticipating a huge voter turnout Tuesday. And I'm interested, I'd be interested to see, we're going to be in there praying. And they're going to be in here voting. And if it would, if it would be possible, it would really be neat to see the results from this polling location and the results from the others. Mm 